going in depth this morning. Hillsborough County Public Schools have about 250 buildings across nearly 30 million square feet, but the amount of people moving here has put dozens of schools way over capacity. ABC Action News in depth reporter Stasi Almos has been adding up enrollments and school capacities and finds as of right now the price of paradise is too much for our county. They can't afford to build new schools. Today, Stasi is asking County Commissioner Chair Kimberly Overman what they're doing to ensure every child in Hillsboro has a seat in our schools. South Tampa resident Damaris Allen graduated from Plant High School in the 90s. The year I graduated was actually the year we experienced explosive growth in our county for the first time and had to build a ton of schools. Now she's seeing things come full circle with her children. One just graduated from Plant High, the other in his junior year. It's great, but it's super crowded, right? So it's a lot more crowded than it was when I was there. I know that when he's trying to get in classes, there's sometimes 30, 40 kids in a class. I pulled enrollment numbers and found as of October this year, Plant High School is at 109% capacity, but that's not even near the top of the list of 57 schools, 90% capacity and up. Knights, Lincoln, Reddick, Roosevelt, and Sesums Elementary Schools are all around 120% capacity. West Shore Elementary is at 138%. Shields Middle School is at 161% and Sumner High, 172%. In November, the district assured me they are meeting state guidelines for class sizes. It pre presents some challenges. It's made us put portables on some sites. Leonard High School has portables. We have portables that are getting installed right now at Sumner. So yeah, we, we have it. We meet the state statute and we meet the, the class size. But it does mean that there is maxed out as close as we can to that limit to, to what we can do. We know with record pace growth, Hillsborough County is going to need 18 schools in the next 15 years, but they need the county's help to build out the infrastructure like utilities and roads. It's money they don't have. In 2018, residents passed a penny sales tax for transportation projects that would help fund roads around schools, but the Florida Supreme Court stopped it due to a constitutional flaw. That same year, residents approved a half cent education reference Referendum, but that went to upkeep. We had to end up passing a referendum to just keep up with capital improvements of our schools. So while we're desperately trying to build more schools, our older schools are falling apart because we didn't have the funding to be able to do really important things like get mold out of schools, deal with AC repairs, our roofs were leaking. In 2020, County Commission raised the impact fees for developers to help build new schools, yet we still haven't been able to catch up. So I went to Commissioner and newly appointed Chair Kimberly Overman to ask how we plan to keep up with growth. Without a referendum, without that surtax, that passed in 18, we are having to make up for not aligning our impact fees, the mobility fees, with costs on a more frequent basis. You know, we were doing it, but we hadn't updated the actual cost for calculating the fees. And now that we are doing that, we should have less of a problem, but we still have a deficit that we have to overcome. In October, the county met with the district to work on a new interlocal agreement they're hoping to finalize by January. In the past, that wasn't lining up well. The school would have a site and they're ready to go. And then we would look at it and go, wait, there's not road capacity there. There's not water capacity there. And that isn't part of our community investment plan funding structure. In addition, the county is working on a new transportation tax referendum for the ballot in November 2022. We just aren't prioritizing our kids. And that is what's really upsetting is that our legislature absolutely has to prioritize funding our kids. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Stassi Olmos taking action for you.